indicating that the Barbados uh, contingent, Barbados contingent, uh, they certainly are ready to compete. They have a young lady who, in her school sports, broke, broke a record uh, two weeks ago. So I'm sure they're, they're ready to put their mark on this game, on these games. So as the band uh, goes around on the track, we have next Bermuda. Uh, but more the guys, any any athletes that we should look for? Well, you had some Harry famous competing this morning in a high jump, and she got a third consecutive Corinth medal. Um, they also have uh, some fine middle distance runners, uh, and uh, that's certainly an event group in which we should look out for. What about that later? I spoke of the fact that you had a young lady um, meddling Shani at Williams. school. Just, right. Shani Williams um, qualifying for the Olympics um, at her from school, school, which is the BSSAC. I mean, that says a lot. Uh, from Harrison College, used to be at Coolidge and Parry, um, but now at Harrison College. Uh, Barbados, quite a few other athletes look out for. Tristan Evelyn, for sure, um, is one that will definitely look, look to make some noise at uh, this meet with Martha Thompson in the uh, boys octathlon. So quite a bit of, uh, uh, of, of outlook, quite a bright outlook for Barbados. But let's face it, I mean, from since, um, I think it's the 44th, no, no, the, I'm trying to remember what it was, but more than half of the games so far has been dominated by Jamaica. Absolutely. Um, yes, I, I think um, the last time Jamaica didn't top the medals table was uh, in 1983, 84. You would have uh, been around one for it. Yes, 83. It, well, actually, 84, we did not send a team to, to the Caribbean Games. That was the Bahamas. 83, yeah. it was Martinique. Before that, 82, it was Jamaica, and of course, they, they, they swept. That had to do with the, with the, the conditions in Grenada at the time, 1983? Um, yeah, it was a the difficult revolution. period, mm -hmm. um, and, and our association was going through some rough periods, it was very, very difficult, mm -hmm. and so we weren't able to sell a team yes. before. Okay, yeah. so um, we have now more of the athletes as they come past. Mm -hmm. uh, again, we spoke about Barbados, and we, we are looking forward to great things from Barbados, so definitely. We saw Antigua Barbuda with some, uh, look, looks like some new warm-up gear, and um, they almost look German. <laughs> they look German. They, 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 <laughs> There you go. There, right. there, there, there yeah. we have, um, well, Anguilla in front there, but mm -hmm. uh, behind them you have Antigua Barbuda in a black strip with <laughs> the yellow and red stripes looking just a little bit German. <laughs> well, it's good to bring some, some color and some difference <laughs> to the game. I, no, I, really, I really believe that, you know. Uh, sometimes they can get stale and it's time to, to bring something new to it. But they have a, quite a big contingent there, though. Bahamas really? usually does. Um, but I think they have 55 athletes uh, coming out of Bahamas this year. Mm -hmm. We already saw Shaquania Dorset, the defending champion, the 400 under And this, this country? Uh, this is British Virgin Islands. British Virgin Islands. Um, not uh, a very large Tarika country. Moses um, uh, did very well for them this morning in the 400 freedom. So mm -hmm. we forward to seeing what she comes up with in the final. It should be a really exciting final tonight. I looked at some of these athletes and they, they really do look ready for, for it. Anguilla. Um, Cayman Islands here now. Already with one gold medal in the bag. I, I looked at them through yesterday and trust me, they look very, a very focused team. And one gold medal in the bag says everything, I think. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. But I was quite a few middle prospects as always. Um, well, well, I think as, as we, 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 we we'll say, they're the noisiest group here. They had a disappointing mm -hmm. time actually in Martinique 2014, but they bounced back well from that last mm -hmm. year and uh, looking forward to, to improving even further this year in Grenada. Dominica, very, very small contingent there. Um, Anybody special we should look out from in Dominica? Dominica already has the one uh, silver medal in the javelin throw under 18. They should also um, be looking forward to seeing Shani Angol. Um, Shani Angol, a Commonwealth Youth Games silver medalist in the javelin right. throw. She should be somebody that we should watch out for in the under 20 uh, javelin throw. Mm -hmm. um, I'm told she's throwing fairly well, although um, her coach said that she's a little bit out of sorts, but uh, she should be. She should figure somewhere in the medal equation uh, come the, the under-20 girls uh, javelin throw. And Big group from Guyana. And Guyana, yeah. Well, Guyana, Guyana missed out last year. They had some travel problems. Cassie George, their star runner, not making the team this year. But um, I'm told that they have some interesting prospects. Um, 
you don't usually get a whole lot of... Ghana is also ranked number 10 in the Christmas standings. Yes, so, I mean, yes. I mean, clearly they have their history. Contention. Yes. And here they are. <laughs> hmm. You don't, you, you just don't mess with this team. 80 you? strong. <laughs> number one. <laughs> 80 strong, the Jamaicans. Um, Listen, they are already on top Jamaica of the medal table. 15, for gold. Has, <laughs> definitely. 1,556. Medals. Uh, me 59 medals. The medals and yes. the next country is 506. In fact, the amount of goals that they have is more than the country. Yes. <laughs> the the next country. Yeah. <laughs> because I, their goal is a little over 700. You know? Mm -hmm. And I think that is, that is something that, that, that really has to be looked at. Uh, so, a question that I would ask are we looking sufficiently at Jamaica and collaborating enough with Jamaica so that we could benefit from some of the development. Well, I think um, our, our, well, our Before you go, finish, mm -hmm. Lucia. Yes, and Lucia with a team of 14, largely inexperienced athletes. Um, just, I think, three athletes coming back from last year. Mm -hmm. um, the, one of the stronger, stronger medal hopes will be in the under-18 girls, Julian Alfred. She got uh, three silver medals at the Boys and Girls Champs in Grenada. You know, in Jamaica, I don't know if she's in Jamaica yeah. now, in Jamaica, and uh, she fancies her chances to be in amongst the, the medal hunt in the 100 meters. St. Martin just passed, an interesting thing. Crypto Games started um, in 1972, the changeover from the Caribbean Free Trade Association yeah. to CARICOM. At that point, you never thought of countries like Curacao, um, the Netherlands, and St. Martin, and so forth, but we have them. And Haiti. And Haiti, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And there we are, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Uh, not a badly sized contingent, but I saw a disappointing statistic this morning in all of the years we've only, we've only garnered four medals in the 45 years of competition. So probably we need to do something about that. I would imagine that. one or two of those would have belonged to Kinika Alexander. Yeah, that's right, um, exactly. You have the board, Void Boys who've now They're all, they were all silver medals, level. by the way, you know. Um, but uh, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, I believe now on the beginning of a new cycle, and hopefully we'll see some good yep. things from SBG. Absolutely. They also have a fairly young team, but largely focused on the under-18 division. So mm -hmm. um, hopefully in the years to come, we will see a, a lot more to come from SVG. St. Kitts and Nevis um, produced Kim Collins, and therefore is a, is a team that clearly has we have to watch. Yes, a small team, surprisingly small mm -hmm. team from uh, St. Kitts and Nevis. Trinidad um, and Tobago, actually number second in the rankings. Yes. You yeah. know? Um, so. The, the truth is, is that we do have, we do have great athletes out there. It's how we nurture and bring them forward. And I, I asked a question earlier: Are we learning from Jamaica? Well, I think the islands are starting to look in that direction um, because what is noticeable is that uh, a lot of the Jamaicans they train at home. They have their own program at home in Jamaica, and it is successful. It's bringing a lot of success to them. So I think um, our association here has been looking at that. In fact, there's been some discussions along those lines in um, trying to collaborate with some of the schools and clubs in Jamaica to get some of our athletes Absolutely. into their programs. Um, and here we are. Oh, definitely, here we definitely. Are. Um, in fact, Proud we already have one going. bronze medal in, eh? the, in the javelin on the 18 boys. We, we got a bronze, yes. I think we got the third and fourth place. And in, she's in really, she's enjoying uh, the moment in the sunlight, in the sunshine, and that's great. Um, Should be getting some more medals this evening. Um, a fine start by the young lady Crawford in the, in the 18 400. Oh, she was wonderful. Yes, yes. Um, uh, it's not going to be... Uh, it's a massive, a massive All team. roses and, and you, that's, that's the benefit of being at home. <laughs> three strong. Yeah, that's the benefit of the whole, uh, oh boy. The spies, the spies. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love to see people enjoying themselves and the fact that they're relishing um, being, being um, applauded by their home. I mean, you can't, you can't want it better than that. You can't, really simply can't. And for many of the young athletes, a great experience. I think it's going to really motivate them and other athletes to, to want to do very well. And having Carifta at home is always the opportunity to, to create a springboard for yourself for a country like Grenada. The last time you had Carifta, you went on the next year to, to be second in the medal yes, table with eight exactly. gold medals. So, you, 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 know, you see a lot more when, it, when it's at home. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you, um, did you have that kind of rousing welcome when you paraded? I think, I think what you mean to ask God is whether you, you could dance like that. Don't take me for granted. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't. You absolutely wouldn't. Don't take me for granted at all. Don't take me for granted at but all. But no, I really love to see the team enjoying themselves. Uh, the colors are fantastic. Oh, in fact, the colors, is, yeah, the colors in, in the team really Caribbean. And this, uh, these are what, the officials? The officials. The officials, yes. It's a brilliant um, tradition from uh, Grenada, of course, particularly in the throws. Um, some 
fabulous throwers over the years, um, particularly in the javelin throw. Yeah. They've had at least 15 men have oh, won yes. javelin yes. throw but from But interestingly uh, enough, the Grenada. javelin throw is, has been one of the, 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 um, the skills that has been left behind in some of the other countries. Yes, yes. And well, that's there's, the there's expense, there's uh, uh, the, the technical aspect of it, there's a, a lot that goes into the mm -hmm. reasoning as to why javelin throw may not have propagated throughout the Caribbean. But certainly, Grenada early adopters, um, and they've been right at the top of the heap as far as that's concerned. Um, the likes of Karen Francis, uh, Kurt Felix, mm -hmm. um, uh, Lyndon Toussaint right now, competing uh, in the combined events, Kurt and Lyndon Brothers. Mm -hmm. um, but also on the track, you've had some fantastic athletes the likes of Aline Francis. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you've had certainly Kirani James. You've had uh, Hislan Regis. Uh, so uh, some fabulous athletes in the jumps as well, Bruce Swan and, and so on. But, so, but what yeah. is important, right, is, is the toe that a, a, a person like um, Kirani can bring. Yeah. Because having had a champion, it must do something to the psyche of the younger people who now see an opportunity, having seen what has happened to Karani. How have you felt that in, in this society? Um, oh, country? definitely. I'll tell you something. Um, if you were in Grenada uh, that day Karani ran the final at the Olympics, you would realize... I was almost there. Was, that trust was, me, I was almost there. That <laughs> was the one day that every single Grenadian came together. Everything stopped for that moment. Um, it was it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Um, you know. So, so what, are you saying that sports has more power to unite your nation and politics? Well, I'll tell you something. You know, I believe that sports is the one thing that has the power to unite the Caribbean. I do believe that. I no, it's believe interesting that. you say that because when you think of the the genesis of these games, that they came out of a political structure, so to speak. Um, you might say whatever you like about. CARICOM and people complain that CARICOM is not working, but Carista's games are working. Mm -hmm. You know, but look <laughs> and at the games over the years. When it started, they, they started with some what, 26 uh, 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 to 30 events. They've now in, it has now increased to 66 events at the CARICOM. So look at look at the, the uh, how how much it's increasing. Look at the amount of athletes. You know, and so this is great. It is. It's it's working. If you just look at the kids, the way they interact with each other. Throughout the years, I mean, these kids build up some lasting friendships and go on to Olympics, to World Championships. These guys see each other at NCAA Championships and so on. And they're interacting with each other from this age, from under 18, from under 17 in some cases previously. So they get to know each other, they get to understand each other's culture, each other's.